What is up, guys? Using A here. Um, sorry that I was gone for New Mexico, or at I was in New Mexico for five days. Um, so yeah, I couldn't make any videos. But uh, thanks for all the video or feedback for the video cold pizza, and I got like a ton of good feedback on that, and I'm really happy that you liked it. But today, oh, and I promised I would make the wiggle tutorial that what I did in cold pizza, but it's not today. Um, but today we're gonna have a really sick tutorial over the uh, grid line here. So actually, I'm gonna turn this off so you guys can see properly. Add wiggle on it. And so what it looks like is we have this line. I have two CCs, but you can do it with. You can be really creative with this. You can have two different clips. Um, you can you can just have a line going down. You can have maybe what I did a different CC here. Um, you can do a lot of stuff with this little thing that I'm doing. Uh, for example, I think in uh, I think in one of my uh, recruitment challenges for uh, the Just recruitment challenge, instead of having this like line going across, I had a little rectangular mask with glow on it. And I just brought it down, and then I had another clip come down with it. So it's really good transition. Um, it's good for just bringing in new stuff and it looks really creative and uh, so boom we have this nice blue CC and it goes to the panda CC that I use a lot or haven't used in a while I guess so yeah let's get into the tutorial because I'm just rambling now um, so I'm gonna label my color corrections I'm gonna label this blur actually I'll actually I'll just delete it I'll label this CC1 CC2 so, let's see which one is which. Alright, so this is the first CC that you see right here, second one, and then this is the light sweep. So what we're going to want to do, get the fuck out of the mouse, god dang, I hate this mouse. Um, I'm going to make a new adjustment layer, put it under both of the color corrections. Um, let's take away that. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Take away that too, so the positioning is all normal. Let's bring this down, back to normal. Alright, so everything is back to normal. We have both of these CCs on top of each other. It looks like shit. So, uh, you want to look up light sweep, CC light sweep, and then bring it onto the adjustment layer that you have under both color corrections. And let's turn off the color corrections for now. And, God, fucking mouse. Uh, bring it to 90, the direction. So what it looks like is just a straight line going across. And we will have it on sharp. And the width to bring up, I think I had mine at like 80. Sweep intensity, you want to bring up a lot. Uh, I think 90 was good. Edge intensity, you want to bring up again. Um, and then edge thickness, it doesn't really matter. I'll keep it at like 4. And you keep it at uh, white. And keep that at a. Uh, because when you, have one, when you have your CC over it, it alters the color and stoof. So since this is a kind of blue CC, um, you have a blue grad exposure, it'll pop up as blue, which looks really cool. And then uh, what we're going to want to do is put this color correction over and then line it up so that it is at the very top, but you can't see it. So that's perfect. And then we'll go to the center right here, keyframe at the beginning, and bring it up so that the little circle is at the top. And then we will go over... 40 frames and we'll just bring it all the way down so it's at the bottom and we'll do the same thing with the color correction here positioning I didn't do it to the right one I'm a dumbass all right so we do that there so you want to keyframe the color correction to up here so that it doesn't interfere with the clip and then we are going to open this up go to the second keyframe that I told you to make where um the center is at the very bottom right there and so we'll take CC number two and just drag what the fuck drag it down and then this is good right here so we have a color correction over it but we have both the color corrections mixed so what we're gonna wanna do is uh, position this CC one where the first keyframes are and go to the second keyframes where color correction 2 is fully transitioned in and then we're just going to drag it out. 
right, right below. And then we're going to go over like five frames because um, the uh, CC light sweep is still there. So we're just going to move over a few more frames and just drag it down all the way down until it's gone. And there. So we transition color corrections and it looks really good. And what we're going to do is go to keyframe assistant and easy ease all of these that rhymed. Call me Eminem, although I'm not white. Um, now, I'll RAM preview this for you guys. Um, it looks pretty shick. All I did on the original clip was twigster it so that uh, the scoping is a little slower, which gives us time to have this transition going, which is what I did in Cold Pizza. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Boom. And then you shoot and you ride on the bass pump and brown. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was kind of easy for you to follow. I I tried hard, I guess. Try hard. And uh, next tutorial, I'll try to make it tomorrow, will be over the wiggle, where uh, the shit is going all over the place. Like the, the this clip is like moving over here and over there, and it's it's, it's uh, really simple actually. It'll be a really quick tutorial. So yeah, I guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a, leave some likes. Uh, it helps me out a lot. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.